The international agenda today is unforgiving. Two wars, conflict in the Middle East, ongoing threats of violent extremism and nuclear proliferation, global recession, climate change, hunger and disease, and a widening gap between the rich and the poor. All of these challenges affect America's security and prosperity, and they all threaten global stability and progress. Greetings. We are Anonymous. This is an open message to you, Hillary. We know what you and your people stand for, and we do not forget. It seems lying has become second nature to you, or should I say your only nature. The amount of times you have been caught out is astonishing. You act like you will benefit the human collective, and many believe and blindly support you, but we know your real intentions, your real motives, and your real plans. And we know you are backed by the same dark suits that are behind nearly every other U.S. president. You will not bring about change, at least not in a positive way. And you will remain a puppet, like all of those before you. Remember the 30,000 emails you deleted. Remember the countless times you have lied while under oath. Remember your shady weapon deals that helped our Mises. Because we remember it all, as we do not forget, and we do not forgive. You may have the public tricked, but we will expose everything. The truth is about to catch up with you. You thought you could hide from your past, but you were wrong. I think that uh, uh, we have more than met the request from the State Department. Uh, the server contains uh, personal communications from my husband and me, and um, I believe I have met all of my responsibilities, and the server um, will remain uh, private. That's interesting. I guess you forgot that it is common knowledge that Mr. Clinton does not use email. So when you say the server contains personal communications from my husband and me, you are straight out lying. And since we are on the subject of Mr. Clinton, let's see what his Secretary of State had to say after his actions killed over half a million children. We have heard that a half a million children have died. I mean, that's more children than died when, when, in, in Hiroshima. And, and, you know, is the price worth it? I think this is a very hard choice, but the price, we think the price is worth it. We see through the tricks, the lies, and the games. We see through your psychological tactics, and we see your desire for power, regardless of the consequences. Your Machiavellian behavior, your tendency to manipulate, deceive, and destroy for personal gain, is nothing new. Your master of the black arts of attack politics is skillfully clothed in layers of deniability. But when you need money as all candidates do, your imprudence bewilders even your most loyal supporters. This pattern is a familiar one. Huge amounts of money are raised from political insiders, lobbyists, and special interest groups. But you have a very shifty and corrupt way of going about this. In the summer of 2007 you had to return nearly $900,000 to fundraiser Norman Chu because it was exposed that this money was made with illegal fundraising tactics. Norman is now under indictment for running a Ponzi scheme. It still amazes us how the media gives you a pass and pretends none of these things happen. And they accept the Hillary operative line that it is just old news and to just move on. You are directly behind so many illegal political fundraising schemes including donations from the Qatari government, but there are too many to go into right now. We do not want you in power. You will spread negativity to every inch of this planet. The Clinton Foundation was, from the start, a trapdoor for ethics. Now it seems it is also a mirror into Clinton's ethics, judgment, and hypocrisy. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. To all the current and future Zionist puppets in the White House, expect us.